We are thankful and do give honor and praises always to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. We are thankful again that we are able to testify of the goodness of the Lord. We do greet all of our listeners and our viewers, especially the saints of God that is striving in these last and evil days over every opposition. We are praying and we hope that you are praying also. And we do greet you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. He has a name according to the word of God is highly exalted above every name. Amen. That at the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. every knee have to bow. Every tongue have to confess that he is Lord to the glory of God. We do realize that God is the ruler. He is king of king and he's Lord of lords. Everybody may as well realize that God was the one that created you. God is the one that controls us. Doesn't matter if you have evil thoughts, God still is the controller. We have to remember that he made evil and also he made good. Yeah. And you have to realize that God is in the mix of everything. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Nothing is done without the Lord Jesus Christ having his counsel already and have set things in order. We should be striving and praying to the Lord Jesus Christ in these last and evil days. We better pray, people, and we better have an understanding that Jesus Christ is going to come in the clouds. And when he comes in the cloud, you have heard Jesus said before, be ye ready, for we know not the day nor the hour the Son of Man going to appear. And when he comes, he's going to have what he's going to give you, reward for every man, for his works shall it be. Right. So we are commending you to the Lord Jesus Christ in these last and evil days yeah we have some evil time now oh yeah my god and you better get your soul right third chapter of second timothy we see the word of god and we be led by the spirit of god we don't know what to say we don't know what to do but whatever jesus christ said by his spirit we say amen lord amen because we know it's some ingredients in there that we're going that's going to assist us and this day, this time, this troubled day. We better ask God to help us in these last and evil days. All right, let's see what it say. Second Timothy three and at verse one. All right. This know also. This know also that in the last days that in the last days. Perilous times shall come. People, do you hear this? Perilous time is going to come. And guess what? It's upon us right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We are seeing some things. This is unprecedented here. We've never seen things like we have seen it today. That's right. My God, according to the words of God, Jesus said, because that iniquity shall abound. Yeah. He said, the love of many should be wax cold. That's right. Wax cold. When it comes to Jesus Christ, they don't love him. That's right. Say, so how do you know? Well, I know by the word of God. That's right. If you obey his commandments, Jesus knows that you love him. That's right. But when we don't obey his commandment, we do not know the Lord. That's right. So I thank God for the saints and every person that's turning to God, worshiping the Lord. I thank God for you to hold on and let the Lord fight your battle in these last and evil times. We are in some times now 
Then you, can't you see it? Wars, rumors of wars. That's right. Can't you see people are hating one another? Yeah. And they are killing one another. That's right. My God, I see these things happening. And I thank God to know what the word of God tells me, that in this perilous time, all these things going to happen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. What did it say? Read it. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Men, they are lovers of their own selves. You know they're lovers of themselves. Yes. People are doing things now. They are doing it openly mm -hmm. to the entire world. Yeah. Things that we say they were in the closet about, they are bringing it to the surface now because of the son of perdition. That's right. Because of Satan. No, he doesn't have long, and he's trying to bring all his evil ways in here. My God, until he can't do it anymore, and God going to come with the brightness of him and destroy this devil. God going to do yeah, it. But right. we're in perilous time now. Why? Men hating them, where they hating themselves. They're loving themselves, rather. That's but right. But they're hating one another. That's right. What did they say? Read it. Covetous. Covetous. People hate. You know that old covetous spirit to jump on any man. You know, any time the devil bring a spirit to you, my God, where you don't desire to see a person have something and you hope you had it, that's a covered spirit. My God, it'll happen to any man. Any man it'll come, but you have to do like the word say, resist the devil oh, yeah. and he'll flee from you. Amen. You have to resist that devil, people. Amen. We can be tempted with anything. Surely. Don't think because you are saved, that you cannot be tempted. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. Oh, yes. The tempter, the devil wants to tempt you, uh, tempt you because this is a perilous time we are living in. What that word say, read it. Boasters. Boasters. People are boasting now. I have one thing I thank God for, and I, I, I commend this to myself. I, I realize that I'm nothing before God. And I want to downplay myself before God because I don't want any glory that God's supposed to have. That's right. I want God to have the glory. The Bible says, if any man glory, who we glory in? in we Lord. glory in the Lord. In the Lord. Give him the glory. Give him the thanks. Surely. He's the one. Jesus is the one that's giving you your life today, people. Let's believe in him in these perilous times. With this virus going around now, and I mean killing many people. Amen. But God is on the throne, and I thank God for it. I know he is a wonderful God, people. And when God wants this disease to leave, he'll let it go. But God wants to let you know that he rules in the kingdom of men. You can't do anything without the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What did it say, reader? Proud. Proud. Blasphemers. Listen here. This is, this is, we living in this time. Proud, mm -hmm. blasphemers. People talking evil. They say evil thing about God and they don't even know who he is, but yet they want to say evil things about God. Amen. Well, he's the only one that's good. That's right. My God is not good in any of us. Amen. We have to rely on God to make us. That's right. And Jesus Christ is making the church. Yeah. In these last and evil days, we are still praying. We are still fasting. Amen. We are still living holy. I say to you, don't let the tempter deceive you because you can't gather in crowds in the church as you used to. That's right. Don't let that enemy deceive That's right. you. That's what he wants to do. That's right. Because why? We are living in the time. That's right. We are living in the time when the tempter is going to tempt you. But guess what? You have to be proven by God. God have to see and prove whether you're going to obey his commandments or not. Saints, this is the time that we are in. Every opportunity you have to get on your knees and call on the name of the Lord yeah. Jesus in prayer, in fasting, in loving, and doing the things that you should do. Don't you stop. That's right. Don't stop doing it. Now's the time you should pray more. 
I thank God. I thank God. I believe some of the saints are praying more now than oh, they yeah. were praying before. That's right. Is that right? That's right. And and, oh, and, yeah. and without being in the church. That's right. You know this is true, saints, the out there. You the praying more now than you prayed in 10 years, look yes, like. Are. You praying more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I thank God for this. See, thank God knows how to get the glory. He knows how to get the glory. And I thank God for it. We're not going to stop praying. We're not going to stop fasting. We, we're fasting and praying just like we are coming assembly in the church. We're still doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I commend to you people, do it, saints. Do it. You don't know when the Lord going to appear. That's right. You don't know, so we better get ready. We don't know who's going to die. That's right. My God, we have lost loved ones that we didn't. We didn't have no idea that they were going to leave us, but they are gone. And you can't blame no one. You better look to God because Job said, A Lord taketh and the Lord giveth. Isn't that right? That's right. Blessed be the name yeah. of the Lord. That's right. You can't do anything with God. You may as well leave him alone and do his commandments. And we living in a terrible time now. What did it say, reader? Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. Cheering. They're killing their parents, wearing their parents. Amen. And disobedience to them. Read. Unthankful. They're unthankful. Unholy. Look at here. People want to be unholy. Even saints cheering. They want to be unholy. Oh, yeah. All the word they hear, they still want to be unholy. They want to be as the world. Yeah. But if you follow the world, my God, second book of John, tell me what's in the world. That's right. First John, John 2 and 12, 15. That's right. My God, look at the word of God here. Amen. We, we have something here in Christ Jesus. Is that right? Amen. What did it say, read it? First John 2 and at verse 15. All right. Love not the world. You see what the word's saying here? Neither the things that are in the world. Now, people are loving these things. Why? We're in perilous time. That's right. People are hating one another. Don't have the love. Everybody think that they are something. Don't you know that's a boasting spirit? That's right. I say I downplay myself. Joe, you are nothing. Man. Doesn't matter what people say, you are nothing. That's the word. And you'll never be anything. That's right. Except God bless your heart and your mind. That's the way I want to feel. What did it say, reader? If any man love the world, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. See, you don't love Jesus world. Mm -hmm. You don't love, him. don't love him. You don't love him. If you loved him, you would obey him. You would obey these scriptures Amen. here. The Bible, the word of God that was written before you were born. And it was here a long time. You can go on back to the beginning of the world foundation. Yeah, God did a number before the foundation of the world. Didn't yeah. he? Oh, yes. God did something that's being manifest right now in somebody. That's right. Isn't that right? Amen. God did something before the foundation of the world. He yeah. created us in him. Holy. How? Holy. Holy. Yes. Ephesians 1 and that verse 4. Look at what God have done here. According as he had chosen us in him. What has he done? Before the foundation of the world. What? That uh, we should be holy. Holy. And without blame before him. And without blame before him in, in what? In love. Now you better love now. Man. God already done this thing. And I say I thank God. You know how you thank God and know God have chosen you before the foundation of the world. You want to depart from iniquity. That's right. You don't want, you don't want to sin. That's you right. want to be righteous before Jesus Christ. Amen. You fear in the Lord yeah. and God blessing your heart to live right. Because Amen. why? He has chosen you before the foundation of the world. If God hadn't chosen you, you can't live holy. Amen. Cannot. Cannot. Only those he has selected and chosen to be holy. Then I say, I thank God that I have a mind to live holy. I, in these evil days, I said, I thank God in the name of Jesus Christ that we can live holy, Amen. holy, holy, holy. You can't live it if you don't follow Jesus Christ. You can't live it if you hadn't been baptized in water in his name and have received the gift of the Holy Ghost. You cannot live it. 
Amen. It takes the spirit of God to live holy. Amen. And we can't live holy without it. So why try, people? Why try and have old hypocritical life and acting like you so saved, saved, saved. You so blessed, blessed, blessed. Yeah. I'm highly favored. You think you highly favored and you living in sin? That's right. No, you not. God yeah. hate sin. Yeah. He doesn't hate you. He love you, but he hate the things that you do. Amen. Why? Why? What's in the world? First John 2 and at verse 16. All right. For all that is in the world. Is what? The lust of the flesh. Now, people, you know this. The word of God is the same. It's been coming to us for many years. Before you were born, this word was still here. All that's in the world is what? The lust of the flesh. The lust. You, you, you want to go out and do things that's not, amen, holy. Holy people don't go around committing adultery. Amen. Holy people don't go around committing fornication. I don't care I hurt your pride. God not going to lie you into his kingdom if you are involved in these things. Amen. You may as well get rid of it. Be forgiven for it. Why are you alive in flesh and blood? Don't That's wait till you die because you won't know anything when you die. Amen. Is that right? You won't know. My God, all that's in the world is what? What is it, Rita? For all that is in the world. What? The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. And the lust of the eye. The lust of the eye. And the pride of and life. The pride of life. It's not of the Father. This is not of the Father. But it is of the world. It's of the world. People, my God, with the virus, the COVID-19 in our time that's perilous now is going on. And people flocking together like birds eating seeds or what? Like, like pigeon around jumping for food. Look here. This is not right for you people now. What you should do, stay apart now. You're going, what you're doing? The worldly pleasure, say go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Get crowded. You're going to either die or whatever. Yeah, but buddy, you don't want to die. You don't want to die, so you may as well take heed to somebody. That's right. Is that right? It's a perilous time now. My God, people are loving themselves, heady and high-minded. Is that right, reader? Amen. Second Timothy 3 and at verse 3. Uh-huh. Without natural affection. Without, don't have no natural affection. You don't give it up. Truth breakers. Truth breakers. You can't have touch and agree on nothing. You can't <laughs> touch and agree on being holy. My God, you want to be divided from holiness. Yeah. But that's God. God is saying, why you say you're holy? Because Jesus said he's holy. God said he's holy. So he told us to be holy because he was holy. That's so you have, what kind of religion? I say, I'm holy. That's right. I'm holy. Like, why say that? Because Jesus said be holy. Is that right? Amen. First Peter 1 and that verse 15. That's why I'm holy. But as he which hath called you is holy, what? so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. You see what kind of religion I have here now? Because it is written. What? Be ye holy. Look at here. For I am holy. All right. When you want to call me up, call me up for being holy. <laughs> Say, why? I'm holy like Jesus. Call it whatever you want. If you want to put the vision in there and say, I'm being distinguished, this and that, and you in your place and you calling it another name, you not holy, well, you don't belong to God. So I'm selling on holiness. Amen. That's God. That's right. And he said, be like that. Is that right? Amen. What the word say, reader? Second Timothy 3 and that verse 3. What? False accusers. That's what people are doing now. False accusers. Lying. Lying. My God, there's so much evil going on in this world, man. It's yeah. perilous time. Oh, yeah. When you look at the law, mm -hmm. that's supposed to be for the lawless. The law and the law is killing. Yeah. You know that? That's not right. Amen. That's not right for the that's law right. to kill a person because they think they have done wrong. That's but right. guess what? You can kill if you want to. But you're going to reap what you sow. Amen. When you get before the judgment seat of Christ, you better be forgiven. If not, you're going to spend eternity in hell fire. Is that right? Amen. Why? It's the last days. Yeah. What is that, reader? Incontinent. 
People not satisfied. If you give them a Cadillac, they want a Rolls Royce. That's right. My God, they're not satisfied. Amen. What did it say, read it? Fierce. Fierce. Despises of those that are good. You doing good. You trying to live holy and they're despising you. People, don't you know your own kin folks, your own household will despise you because you in Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah. They don't know what spirit they have. That's right. They have the spirit of the enemy. Yes. When they are despisers of those that do good. That's right. My God, you know that's not God's spirit. Jesus said, love ye one another yeah. as I have loved you. Man. This is that new commandment he gave us. Surely. To love one another so they can realize, Jesus said, that you are my disciples. Amen. You are following the commandments of God because you have love. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Man, you take God and you take Jesus Christ in my heart to help me to love people now in these last and evil days. If you don't have the love of Jesus Christ, by God, you can't love now. You're going to go on the side of hating. Is that right? Amen. All right, reader. Traitors. People are traitors. Go ahead. Heady. Heady. High-minded. That's people. They're full big head. Heady. High-minded. Lovers of pleasures. They love pleasure. More than lovers of God. More than lovers of God. Having a form of God. See, they have a form of God. They go to church. And some glad they're out of church now. <laughs> they don't want to live holy no way. That's right. So they have an excuse. But I hear the word of God tell me, Thou art inexcusable, old man, whomsoever thy that judges. That's right. You can't get away with it. No excuse. Is that right? Amen. The best thing to do is line up with the plan of God. Amen. The plan of God is for you to repent. I don't care how many times you've heard it. Here you're hearing it again. <laughs> Just like oh, eating yeah. chicken. Sometime my wife come around, I see you got chicken again. She said, that's right. Well, you know, don't I go ahead and eat it because oh, yeah. why? I I'm hungry. Yeah. Isn't that right? Amen. By God, the word comes, amen, to fill those that are hungry. Amen. Hungry for the word, you will be filled, people. Surely, surely. Hunger and thirst after righteousness, righteousness. the word says you shall be filled. We, be, we are filled with the word of God. And doesn't matter how many times it comes, amen, it's still the same. Repent, be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is very important that you be baptized in his name. Preachers don't want to preach the truth no. now. They want to tell people how they're going to be blessed. I'm blessed to be alive today. Amen. I'm blessed for God feed me. You, wow. I don't have to do what you say to be blessed. No. I have to serve the Lord to be blessed. Amen. Be, obey him and I'm blessed. You are blessed when you obey the word of God. Thank God. Isn't that right? Amen. What else did it say, reader? Having a form of godliness. You have this form. But denying the power thereof. They don't believe in the power of God. They don't believe God have power to keep them and That's shield right. them That's from right. temptation. You have to realize how powerful this God is that we are serving. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. This God that we are serving is a mighty God. My God, and I praise him so much. My God, because God haven't imputed sin upon me. Blessed Amen. is the man. You That's bless. Right. Don't tell me God can't bless you. Amen. God can bless you and won't allow you to sin. That's Isn't right. that wonderful? That's right. Thank God for this. Many times the devil tried to tempt you to deceive you, and the Lord will not let you. That's right. He would not let you sin. Amen. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't that what Romans say by Romans the Romans 4 and at verse 6. Oh, look at the word of God. I thank God for this today. And I, when I examine my life, I say, you know what? The Lord didn't allow that sin That's right. that the devil was tempting me for. The Lord wouldn't allow me to sin. Amen. Wow. I said, you know, this is wonderful. It takes God to keep oh, you yeah. from sinning. Oh, yeah. What does the word say? Read it. Romans 4 and at verse 6. All right. Even as David also described the blessedness of the man. Yes, sir. Unto whom God imputed righteousness. Oh, look at what? Without works. Yeah, dude, we hadn't done anything to get Nothing it. Nothing for it. <laughs> and here the Lord 
extend righteousness to you. Amen. Then won't allow you to sin. That's right. And the devil tempting you to sin. And the Lord said, no, no, don't you do that. Amen. Don't you say that. Amen. You can't do that. Ooh, thank God for this. What the word say? Read Saying, it. blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven. Isn't this wonderful when God forgive you for your iniquity? And whose sins are covered. And God cover your sin. Blessed is the man. What? To whom the Lord will not impute sin. You better say that again. Blessed, blessed. is the man. My God, I see where I'm blessed. Oh, yeah. It's not me. It's not you. It's That's not right. you to doing it. You should realize it's not you. That's right. Doesn't matter how you feel. It's God. It's Jesus Christ. That's right. That doesn't impute sin. That's right. Toward a man. Amen. Isn't that right? Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. People, we are blessed. Can Amen. you realize how blessed we are? Thank you, Lord. In these perilous times, God is, Jesus is taking care of us. Yes, he is. Because we know who Jesus is. Amen. We know that Jesus is God. Oh, yes. And oh, it's yes. all through the word of God. All through the word. Is that right? Amen. It's in the word where Jesus said, me and the Father, we are one. one. You know, I look in the 10th chapter of the book of John. John and I see where God, amen, Jesus said this. John my, 10 and that verse 30. My God, you know, you go up a little read and get me another one. I'm 28 and may even come down. Amen. John, John 10 and that verse 27. All right. My sheep hear my voice. You see what Jesus is saying? And I know them. And Jesus said, I know my sheep. And they follow me. And we going to, those that obey <laughs> Jesus Christ's commandment, you going to follow the oh, Lord. Yeah. You don't need yeah. getting angry and all covet hearted toward a person that's doing good. God has to help you to do it. That's right. You better pray and ask God to help you to do it. Pray and ask the Lord. He'll help. Read on, read on. And I give unto them eternal life. I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. And Jesus, look what Jesus is <laughs> saying. Jesus said they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Now listen, this is not God talking here. Isn't this God talking? <laughs> oh yeah. This is, Jesus say, he give credit to the Father. That's right. That the Father greater. That's right. But then, he give credit also to Witness to God that whom the Lord give him, he able to. Keep. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And, and, and look at this. Read on. My father which gave them me. The spirit, the father which gave them me. Is greater than all. And he's greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. So that must be made. They, they have the same power. Same That's right. <laughs> Jesus won't get them out of his hand. That's right. And it won't come out of his father's hand. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Well, I, why is this? I. I. And my father. And my father. Are one. We are what? We are one. I and my father are one. I thank God for this word. <laughs> if you believe that Jesus Christ and the father is one. You don't realize how blessed your heir is. In these perilous times, we need to know who Jesus Christ is, people. He is God. Amen. You know, some preacher, he's trying to preach this too, but he, God didn't give it to him. He copying. He coming on the air copying. Copy on, preacher. At least you're saying the right thing. You're stealing it, but you're saying <laughs> the right thing. <laughs> Amen. Keep on stealing. I hope you're hearing this broadcast. Amen. <laughs> you're stealing it. Yeah. God didn't give it to you. Is that yeah. right? Amen. But God give it to them that obey his commandments. God have given us the understanding that he is God. He is Jesus Christ. Amen. And we thank God for it. So people remember what you must do to get it. Repent. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit.